Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to discuss regarding moment of inertia of a thin rod about an axis passing through the center perpendicular to the plane. So first of all, let me tell you what do you mean by moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is shown with the term something like I which is defined as mathematically sigma mr square where m is the mass of each particle and r is the distance of each particle from the axis of rotation. It means to say it is a summation of product of mass of each particle with the square of the distance from the axis of rotation. So what it explains? It actually explains how easy it is to rotate a body or how difficult it is to rotate a body. If moment of inertia is more, it is difficult to rotate the body, it demands more torque and vice versa. So moment of inertia plays a role that is similar to that of a mass in a translatory motion. Like if mass is more, it is difficult to move that body, we need more force. Similarly, if moment of inertia is more, it is difficult to put the body in rotatory motion and we need more torque to put the body in rotational motion. Now, for a given body, I have to find out mass of each particle and its distance from the axis of rotation, square it, multiply with the mass of the particle and do the same for all the particles and add all of them. How do you measure this, this much complicated thing for a given scenario? is the example that we are handling. The example that we are handling is a thin rod. So this is how, how our thin rod is there. This is a thin rod having a certain length. We are considering an axis passing to the center of the rod perpendicular to the plane, it is perpendicular to the rod axis, right? So if I call this point as O, it is obvious that this length becomes plus L by 2 and this length becomes minus L by 2 because the axis has divided the length into two parts on two different sides. I want to calculate the moment of inertia of this body who is having so many particles. So how do I find the moment of inertia of this system? What we will do is we will find the moment of inertia of the small part of this body. Let us consider this way. Let us consider there is a small portion of the rod, thin rod, whose thickness is something like dx, whose mass is dm, who is at a distance of some value x from the axis of rotation. Therefore, this small part must be having some moment of inertia. As for the definition of moment of inertia, I am going to find out moment of inertia of dm who is having a thickness of dx and it is at a distance of x from the axis of rotation di is dm into x square. As for the definition of moment of inertia, mass of that part with the square of the distance from the axis of rotation. As it is only a small part of the moment of inertia, I have called it like di, x from the axis of rotation. And as for the definition, the small moment of inertia is dm into x square. Then I need to calculate what is this dm is. dm is the mass of a small part. I will can find out the mass of the small part as total mass by total length multiplied by length of that part. Let us assume length of that part is dx. That gives you mass of the small part and x squared. That is the moment of inertia of a small part. This body, this rod, is a combination of so many of these small kind of parts together. I have to find the moment of inertia of each part and to find the moment of inertia of the total system, I have to add the moment of inertia of all that. 
that's mathematically done in a process called something like integration therefore to get total moment of inertia of the system I shall integrate the equation what is I mean by that integral of di equal to integral of m by l dx which gives you dm and x square you know, integral of differentiation of i is nothing but equal to i because integration and uh, differentiation functions are uh, kind of a reverse functions to each other they cancel each other m by l integral of x square dx where your x could vary from minus l by 2 that is from this end to this end plus l by 2 and these are called upper limit and the lower limits of an integration you must have learned it in basic mathematics also now let us simplify this equation further how can i simplify there is a formula in integration that you might have learned in mathematics integral of x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 applying this formula moment of inertia equal to m by l integral of x square dx is x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 whose limits are from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 Simplifying this further, moment of inertia is equal to m by l x cube by 3, where x is varying from a lower limit of minus l by 2, upper limit of plus l by 2. Now, we have to apply the limits in the place of x. How we have to apply the limits is simply apply the upper limit in the place of x minus apply the lower limit. We simply mean to say the x value is varying from plus l by 2 to minus l by 2. So m by n in the place of x cube I can write m by 3 l even by writing this 3 outside. In the place of x cube l by 2 whole cube that's applying the upper limit minus lower limit minus l by 2 whole cube upper limit minus lower limit that is m by 3 l into l cube by 8 minus of minus will be another plus another l cube by 8 so moment of inertia is m by 3 l into 2L cube by 8. 1L can be cancelled. 1, 2 also can be cancelled. So, moment of inertia is ML square by 12. That's how I can calculate the moment of inertia of a, any of a system. So, moment of inertia of a thin rod about an axis passing through center perpendicular to the plane to the middle of the rod I know this moment of inertia now ml square by 12 it's even passing through center of gravity or center of mass suppose if somebody want moment of inertia about this axis what is this axis this is perpendicular to plane but passing through edge passing through end of rod so I want moment of inertia about an axis that is satisfying these roots perpendicular to the plane passing to the edge of the rod I want to know the moment of inertia of this now. So simply I want 
this i this is nothing but i g these two axes are parallel to each other distance between them is nothing but equal to l by 2 we shall use a theorem called parallel axis theorem as it was previously explained according to parallel axis theorem moment of inertia of the rod of a body about any axis is moment of inertia of the same body about an axis passing through center perpendicular to the plane and the product of mass of the body with the square of the distance between the axis of rotation i want i i z we have just now calculated as passing through center now m n square by 12 m x is nothing but equal to l by 2 whole square so moment of inertia is m l square by 12 plus m l square by 4 taking the 12 as lcm m l square plus 3 m l square that is 4 m l square by 12 that's nothing but equal to m l square by 3 thus if you know moment of inertia about any one given axis of a system using parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem we can find a moment of inertia about other different axes that's required thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you